Just when you think you've seen it all, the NBA draft combined throws us another curveball. I'm here today absolutely buzzing with excitement to dive into a story that's capturing the imagination of basketball fans everywhere, Bronny James's burgeoning NBA prospects. Amidst all the draft talk, Bronny's performance at the draft combine has left many wondering, will this young talent fit on the Lakers roster? Today, we'll look at his impressive display of skills, analyzing how his game could fit within the Lakers' strategic framework, and pondering the big question on every fan's mind. What could Bronny's arrival mean for the future of the team, especially with the potential of him playing alongside his legendary father? Like this video and subscribe to the channel as we're going to dissect what this all could mean for purple and gold. Bronny James truly stood out at this year's draft combine, and I was particularly struck by his three-point shooting. Going 19 for 25 from beyond the arc is no small feat, and it really sets a tone for what teams can expect from him as a shooter. It's performances like these that can really catch the eye of scouts, especially when you consider how critical deep shooting has become in today's game. What's fascinating here is drawing parallels to other players who have excelled in similar settings. Take Austin Reeves, for example, whose combined performance wasn't stellar across the board, but who showed enough potential to eventually carve out a significant role with the Lakers. This comparison is particularly poignant considering Reeves' journey from undrafted to invaluable, a path that Bronny might also find himself on, especially if teams are overlooking the full scope of his abilities due to his relatively modest height or the immense pressure of his last name. But back to Bronny, his shooting form looked effortless, and the consistency was there. For the Lakers, a team that has had its ups and downs from the three-point line this season, adding a reliable shooter like Bronny could be a strategic move, enhancing the team's perimeter scoring options. This kind of skill set not only fits well with the Lakers' current needs, but also adds a fresh dynamic to the bench, which could be crucial in tight games where every point counts. As we wrap this up, let's keep the momentum going and look into how Bronny's defensive capabilities could further make him a valuable asset for the Lakers. His defensive prowess could indeed be the linchpin that solidifies his role on the team. Bronny James isn't just making waves with his shooting, his defensive capabilities are equally noteworthy. During the combine, it was clear that Bronny brings a level of defensive tenacity that's quite rare in young prospects. His ability to stay in front of his man, combined with a knack for reading the game, suggests he could be a formidable defensive presence in the NBA. Now, when we think about the Lakers, particularly their performance last season, defense was often a pain point. They've been looking for players who can not only contribute on offense, but also lock down on defense, and this is where Bronny could really shine. His defensive agility and awareness could help tighten up the Lakers' perimeter defense, a crucial area that often fluctuated last season. It's interesting to consider how a young player like Bronny, known more for his lineage than his lockdown defense, could actually turn out to be a key piece in transforming the Lakers' defensive strategy. Integrating a player with his defensive mindset could provide the Lakers with more flexibility in their rotations and matchups, especially against quicker, smaller lineups that have dominated recent seasons. With this in mind, transitioning to how Bronny could potentially fit into the Lakers' scheme becomes incredibly exciting. His ability to mesh defensive prowess with a sharp shooting touch could make him an invaluable asset as the team looks to bolster both ends of the floor. Exploring Bronny James's potential growth trajectory in the NBA is not just about what he brings to the court today, but how his game could evolve in the years to come. For the Lakers, integrating a player like Bronny isn't only a play for current team strength, but an investment in the franchise's future. Bronny's early exposure to professional basketball, given his unique upbringing and access to top-tier mentoring, positions him well to expand his skills rapidly. This accelerated development curve is crucial for the Lakers, who will be looking to gradually transition their core lineup as their veteran stars inch closer to retirement. Bronny could represent a bridge between the current era and the next, bringing continuity and a fresh spark of talent. The Lakers have a rich history of developing young guards who become influential on the court, and the environment around the team could be perfect for nurturing Bronny's talents. The coaching staff's focus on growth and adaptation could help refine his skills further, particularly in areas like decision-making and leadership. 
qualities essential for any player aspiring to take a central role. Additionally, his potential as a draw for fans cannot be understated. The narrative of Bronny growing and succeeding in the purple and gold, possibly alongside his father LeBron, adds a layer of excitement and marketing appeal. As we wrap up this discussion, it's clear that Bronny's development could be pivotal for the Lakers. But how does the public perceive this young player, and what impact might that have on his career and the Lakers' strategies? The public and media perception of Bronny James plays a significant role in shaping not just his potential NBA career, but also how teams like the Lakers approach him in the draft and beyond. The narrative surrounding Bronny is complex, influenced by his father's legendary status and his own skills and potential on the court. From what I've seen and heard, opinions are split. Some fans and analysts see Bronny as a promising talent who, despite the inevitable comparisons with his father, has a legitimate shot at making his own mark in the NBA. His performance at the Combine, especially his shooting prowess, has helped solidify this positive outlook. However, there's also a more skeptical view. Some question whether his potential is being overstated due to the LeBron James connection. This skepticism can be tough for any young athlete, especially when entering a high-pressure environment like the Lakers, where expectations are sky-high not just from within the organization, but from the global fan base. How Bronny handles this pressure and uses it to fuel his development will be crucial. The Lakers, known for their strategic media handling and brand management, could play a pivotal role in shaping this narrative. By focusing on Bronny's work ethic, his fit within the team's culture, and his basketball IQ, they can help steer the conversation away from mere nepotism to a more balanced recognition of his skills and potential contributions. This perception will not only affect Bronny's confidence and growth, but could also influence trade talks, draft strategies, and the team's future plans. As we think about this, let's shift our focus to a broader discussion about LeBron's relationship with the Lakers and the overarching impact on the franchise's future. This is where fan opinions really diverge. Should the Lakers commit to LeBron at all costs? The conversation about LeBron James and his future with the Lakers is a hot topic that stirs up a lot of passion among fans. Everyone knows LeBron's wish to play with his son Bronny, but the big question is, what does this mean for the Lakers? Should the team offer LeBron a massive contract to ensure this father-son duo happens in LA? And if so, what are the implications for the franchise's future? On one hand, the sentimental appeal of LeBron finishing his illustrious career in purple and gold, potentially alongside his son, is a storybook scenario that would capture the hearts of fans worldwide. It's not just about basketball, it's about legacy, family, and the deep emotional connection that sports can foster. On the other hand, some fans argue that the Lakers need to plan for the future beyond LeBron. They point out that basketball is a business, and sentiment shouldn't cloud judgment on what's best for the team's competitiveness. These fans prefer the Lakers to focus on acquiring younger, emerging talents who can ensure the team remains a championship contender in the long run, even after LeBron has retired. This debate isn't just a trivial matter, it's a strategic decision that will affect the Lakers' direction for years to come. Aligning with LeBron and potentially bringing in Bronny could offer short-term gains and fulfill a feel-good narrative, but it also risks delaying a necessary rebuild that focuses on youth and long-term sustainability. As I wrap up this discussion, it's clear that the Lakers stand at a crossroads. The decisions made in the next few seasons will shape not just the immediate future, but potentially the legacy of the franchise in the post-LeBron era. What path should the Lakers take? It's a question that invites debate, analysis, and even a bit of soul-searching among the fanbase. Now I turn this over to you, Hubs family. Where do you stand on this issue? Should the Lakers go all in on the LeBron Bronny package, or is it time to turn the page and focus on building a new dynasty? Your thoughts and opinions are what make this community vibrant, so let's hear them in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content. See you soon.